Hello fellow survivors, this is your buddy RB Guy back again with another little quick video. And today guys, I want to talk about cook sets. Now there's a lot of different type of cook set on the market. There's camping cook sets and emergency cook sets. Some use propane, some use butane, and some uh, even use gasoline. But my own personal belief is that if you have an emergency cook set, like a camping cook set, and you're out in the woods, you should have something that you don't need propane, butane, or gasoline. Something where you can just grab some wood, put it on, heat it up, and cook your food. And um, what I have in front of you today is just such an item. This is the uh, Pathfinder nesting cup set. And this this nesting cup set is made by a company called Pathfinder, and it's backed by um, Dave Catterberry. You remember Dave Catterberry um, from that show Dual Survival with Cody and Dave? Right, well, um... Dave, he has a survival channel on YouTube, and he backs this set. It's a pretty good set. I've had it for about three or four years now, and um, as you can see, I've used it. All right? Um, and what it consists of is the uh, cup here, a nice size cup. You have a nice big cup of coffee, tea, or soup, or whatever you want to cook inside there. Um, a stainless steel water bottle. Right? With the lid. And... The hook that goes inside where you can hang it up and cook on a fire if you want to, which is cool. You can boil water. And um, this here. This is the key to everything with this cook set, guys. This is the little stove. And how this works is it's all stainless steel. It has a cutout here where you feed, cut out right here where you feed your uh, your wood, your kindling inside there. Three air holes in the back for oxygen, and the top here is where your flames come up. Okay, and you'd start a fire, put this on top of it, all right, and place your cup right on top there and cook your food, or boil your water, okay? Now, what I like about this is the uh, compactness of it. Here, let me show you. Everything fits right inside, and there, just like that, you put your top on it, and this goes right inside my everyday bag, my rust sack on one side, guys, so I always have a means of cooking something with me, and I believe it's a compact, complete emergency cook set, but, um... Like I said, this goes in my everyday bag. What if I wanted something in my three-day bag or my week-long bag? Something a little bit more uh, robust. Something that I could put a frying pan on top of. Something that I could, you know, do like that. And when I bought this years ago, it wasn't expensive. Um, I don't remember what I paid for it, but I know I didn't pay for what the prices are now. I don't know if the products and materials are harder to come by. I don't know what it is, but things are very expensive now. So I had, I wanted to find a way where I could make one myself. And um, this is what I came up with, guys. All right. Now, what you see in front of you may not look like much, but what it actually is, is a, a titanium cup with the lid that I got off of a camping cup that I got off of Amazon. And this, guys, this is an Ikea um, dishwashing strainer. Uh, like, you know, you put your forks and your stuff in here after you wash them. And all I did was cut a square hole in it. Right here, a little square, like a little door, and that's it. And if you look at it, it has all the same. Here, let me show you. Let me move this out the way. If you look at it, it has pretty much the same, just on a larger scale. All right? Same properties. Here's your door where you feed your kindling, right? On the top here. Where your fire comes out, the top here, where my fire comes out. This one has raised edges, so you can put 
your cup on it. So does this one, these little notches here. All right. The only difference is I get three holes back here for air intake, but mine has holes all around. So I'm thinking I'm getting more oxygen in because it's a larger, it's a larger furnace. Um, and I had this laying around the house. So I'm thinking I can do the same thing as this one. Just on a larger scale. And what I like about this is I can put a frying pan on top of here. I can put a pot on top of here. I mean, I guess I could do the same thing with this. But with this, I can heat it a lot faster because it's larger. It's a bigger furnace. It's all stainless steel. And um, I think it'll work. Now, I've never tried it as of yet. I've tried this one, as you guys could see. Right? You can see where it's scorched and singed there from the heat. But I've never tried this. And that's what we're going to be doing today, guys. We're going to be giving this a test. Um, I'm going to take it out. We're going to do different tests. We're going to try to see how long it takes to boil water. See how long it, it, it uh, would take me to cook some food. Maybe boil an egg or heat up a pot of soup if it works. I'm thinking that the only difference is, is that it's larger. So I'll have to use more kindling, more wood inside here. Maybe build a larger fire. But I'm thinking it will work. Yeah, and that's my um, hack for today, guys. That's what we'll be doing on the Extreme Dream Survival Channel. Okay, guys, I'm back and I'm outside. And um, I already have my table prepped for our test of the uh, IKEA furnace cook set. All right, I've got my kindling here, right here. And I've got... The cook set set up on two ceramic um, tiles. All right, Tech. Now I know you wouldn't have ceramic tiles in the woods. You'd have a rock or maybe even the dirt itself. But I'm up on a table on a platform, so let's just pretend, for all intents and purposes, that I have it on in the woods. I wanted a um, flat, solid platform so I could do everything evenly. Now, here is the uh, Pathfinder nesting cup cook set, and I'm not going to be using this one today. I already know it works. Like I said, I've been using it. You can see um, it's scorched from the heat and discoloration of the furnace here. And it works perfectly. I know it works. What I want to test out is the one I did. So let's move this one over and let's get started. Okay, now out in the woods, what you're going to have to do first is build your fire. So we're going to take this off. Take this down, and we're going to um, grab our lighter over here. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to use a paper for the ignition to light the um, to light the little sticks. We're going to put the paper just like so, and we're going to build around it. And what you need is little twigs, no bigger than two to three inches, guys. Okay, just something so it'll fit inside and you're gonna build around it just like this okay and then you're gonna go across Right. You want to make sure the twigs are small enough so they fit inside your uh, furnace. Okay, now once you have it built the way you want it, a little bit of sticks, zoom in so you guys can see it, you're going to light it. Once you have it lit, burn down a little bit and you put your furnace over top just like so
There we go. Okay, there's your furnace. Now, with the Kindle you have over here, little twigs that you got, you're gonna feed your furnace to keep your fire going. Just enough to keep it going. Flames are coming up from the top, which is a good sign. That means it will cook. Hopefully, anyway. It is stainless steel. It should work the same as the um, the Pathfinder Nesting Cup set, but is it? It is an IKEA set, so hopefully, we can get this going. It is a little damp, but um, I tried to pick the best dry branches I could get, so hopefully um, this will work out. So far, so good, guys. You seem to be all right. I'm gonna throw, throw a couple of more pieces of dry in there. Just get the fire going. And this is how you would do it. You would just feed your fire. Let it get good and hot. Okay, guys, it took a little bit to get lit, but um, we finally got the furnace burning how we want it. Um, got fire coming out of the top, and through the sides, and a little bit right here. That's from the sticks. You want to try to push them. The key is to try to get them in all the way, guys. Uh, all right. Move these out of the way. There we go. Just try to get them all the way inside, and you'll have a steady burn. Okay? Another thing that you want to try to make to sure of is uh, make sure you can get the driest wood as possible. The wood that I had was a little bit damp, so it took a little bit time for it to um, ignite. But if you look down in the bottom here, I do have something going on in the bottom of the furnace. And um, it should work, all right? So what are we gonna use as our test subject? Our titanium cup from Amazon. Let's see if we can boil water and how long it takes. And what you want to do, like I said, is you want to continuously feed your fire. Okay, all right guys, if you could see, I do have a little flame going on in there. And I noticed one thing about this, um, this little Ikea furnace that I crafted. It gets a lot of oxygen inside, so if the fire does go out, you can blow 
through these little holes here and you can the fire comes right back up again if it seems like it's dampening down you can blow and it comes up again but i do have a fire going on inside and we're going to see um if we can boil water in this okay guys now the fire is really up high um i think the problem was before that the wood was pretty much damp like i did it rained a couple of days before and when it rains the um the trees and branches they soak up the water once it gets dry in there, as you can see, it starts to boil. Now I am getting some flames coming out the side, but that's okay. Um, I guess that's because I have so much wood inside there. All right, let's check the water and see if it's boiling. Oh yeah, we got boiling water. So it took us about, I say 12 to 13 minutes to get it how we wanted to. All right, now we do know that we can boil water. If we can boil water, we can cook. That's the next test. Okay guys, I've placed the ramen noodles inside the titanium cup. And if you can see in the top, it is boiling. So the noodles are cooking inside. It is boiling. I've got steam coming out of the top. As you can see there. So I am getting noodles cooking inside, guys. Let's take a look at it and see what it looks like. And like I said, the key to this is babying the fire. You constantly have to feed the fire. The twigs are small. Um, unless you get a heat source, they sell little uh, square heat blocks that are made of different type of materials that you can use. But if you're out there surviving with the wood from the trees, um, you have to feed your fire. That's the only way to do it, okay? You have to baby it, blow on it a little bit so um, you can get a nice flame. But this seems to be working. Like I said, the one improvement that I am going to do is I'm going to open this up a little bit wider. So maybe I can put larger sized pieces of branch inside. But this does seem to be working, guys. Alright, here we go, guys. I put two more nice sized pieces of wood inside here. Um, and this has been cooking for about, I'd say, five minutes now. Uh, the noodles should be ready. As you can see, the steam coming from the lid, uh, it's boiling over a little bit, which is okay. Um, maybe I should have put less water inside, but it seems like it's doing all right. The flames are up high, and everything's working. Yeah, let's take this off now and check it out. Before we take it off, let's add a little bit of our seasoning to the water. Alright, there we go. Give it two more minutes, let the seasoning cook throughout the noodles, and we'll take it off and check it out. Okay guys, as you can see, it's bubbling up very high now. We're going to take it off and check it out and see how it looks on the inside. There's our soup, nice and hot. And there's our camp stove. Now, what do I think about this? In conclusion, um, I think this is pretty good. Like again, this wasn't intended what it was meant for, but I, make, I think it makes a pretty good stove. The opening, I believe, needs to be a little bit wider so I can get some more branches in, but that's not a problem. I can cut that open like that right around there. And um, it does hold the flame. It, it does work as a mini furnace, as you can see. Um, 
it's a lot larger, like I said, in comparison to uh, the nesting cup. But what I also like about this is you can put your camp camp equipment on it. You can put a camp frying pan up here, right? Not to say you couldn't do it there, but it's more stable this way. Okay, you can put a pot. Maybe if you want to boil a larger amount of water. Okay. You can even put a kettle if you want to make yourself some tea. Like so. So I think um, for my large bag, this is going to work out good. Like I said, it's uh, all how you tend your fire, guys. It's kind of like a, a skill to tending the fire. But um, this would definitely work in survival situation. I think you can cook more with it for a longer time just because of the size. And it doesn't cost as much. Now, granted, the um, Pathfinder cook set comes with this, and you get this, and you get this. But you can pick up a stainless steel bottle off of Amazon or Walmart or something. And you can pick up one of these cups. This is a titanium cup. Yours doesn't have to be titanium. Now, look at the steam coming off of there, guys. Everything's cooked inside. Yours doesn't have to be titanium. It could be stainless steel. It doesn't have to be titanium steel. They even sell aluminum. Um, but the whole key behind this is this. So, this is going to go in my three-day bag. And the Pathfinder set is going to go in my one-day bag. Um, I might pick up another stainless steel bottle to go in there. Or I might even have some. i got to check. But, yeah. I think this gets the seal of approval, guys. This definitely works. And it's a good item to have if you want to be self-independent and cook your own stuff out in the wild. This has been your buddy RV Guy. Until next time, peace.